Right. Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you for those of you that have made it upstairs from downstairs. Um, my name is Richard Hanbury, CEO of Sana Health. Um, I first went into the pain space because I had a road traffic accident in Yemen. I had to drive off a bridge. That resulted in a nerve damage pain problem that gave me a five-year life expectancy. So all of this is a result of um, that. And I've been on a 30-year mission now to get what worked to solve my pain to, to, to help solve other people's. Um, so this is, this is the version uh, in real life. Uh, you can see on the screen. Um, someone puts on the device, turns it on, they're getting pulses of light through closed eyes and pulses of sound to neuromodulate to create anxiety relief on demand. So if you think about all the ways you can neuromodulate, you can go through TMS or you can go through TDCS, but both of those have to go through the skull or up the vagus nerve. But we're using the brain's own information system to actually get the signal into the brain in a more efficient manner. Um, this is some of the pilot results there. Uh, we're connected at, we're connecting data um, from the forehead for heart rate variability so we can measure what we're doing, which we're building into a feedback loop. Um, chronic pain is our starting point. Obviously, with me, it was a nerve damage pain problem that it fixed. Um, we are also able to go after any area of pain or mental health where anxiety is a component. Um, fibromyalgia is our go-to market. Uh, there are only three approved drugs, only one of which is commonly used, which is Lyrica. Um, and I'll go on to how we compare. Um, but obviously, very large market. Um, we are a class two device. We are on market as a wellness device, um, and we are going through pivotals for the class two. Uh, we are solving hemispheric imbalance, which is basically a very large difference in overall output and frequency distribution between the left and right hemisphere. That results from chronic pain or chronic anxiety. We have some early data um, that proves out that that is correct. Um, versus Lyrica, the main drug that we compete with um, on fibromyalgia, we help four times as many people on average for four times as long. So the only drug that is sold for, with any um, amount that is approved for fibromyalgia, only about 20% of people tolerate it in the first place, and 80% of them are not using it by the six month mark. Um, and we've now got people who've been using a device for two years. We essentially have no one stops using a device if they've used it for a month. Um, we are creating a closed loop feedback system in the next gen of the device. So in real time, the device will be asking which of the sub algorithms is working for people um, and then prioritizing those sub algorithms. Um, we've got a strong patent portfolio. Uh, this continues to grow. Um, but basically means that anything audio-visual um, in stimulation uh, is covered by our first issued patent, and then creating that feedback loop is covered by patent number two. Um, talked a bit about already about how we stack up against uh, the competition, but basically we're able to go after the central sensitization to pain, which is why we can go after all of these different areas. Um, really good pilot results, especially when focused on the worst of the worst. Um, and this was in a, the first 76 out of 1,000 person one arm study. Um, and rather than try to explain this, I will let uh, a user explain it. Uh, but no audio. Barely able to go to a doctor, doctor appointment. I mean, I'm getting, getting to a doctor, to a doctor appointment, appointment was, was like sticking was knives in my back. It was horrible. Nowadays, it's more like you know, less, less knives and uh, less pain. I can move more. I've gotten off enough meds to where I can drive myself. My anxiety has dropped almost 90%, I'd say. I used to be um, prescribed Xanax monthly, and I think I've had my last two containers of Xanax for the last six months. I don't think I've replaced them in a while, and uh, that's huge. It's like flossing your brain, getting those nerves all clean. That's the best way I could describe it. So prior to using sauna, my pain level was nine every day. It never went below that. It went above it. I was in bed most of the time, and when I went anywhere, I had to go in a wheelchair. After sauna, um, the first time I used it immediately, I went from a nine to a six. and 
my energy level came back full immediately. I, um, I went from using my wheelchair two thirds of the time before using the device and now I don't use it at all unless there's a lot of walking. The biggest change I noticed from since using sauna um, is my body wasn't so raw because it wasn't in pain all the time. My 13 year old daughter said, you know, it's kind of neat, mom, I can hug you again. I homeschool my daughter. Um, so after using sauna, I've actually been able to work with her more on one on one, -on -one and answer her questions. And whereas before sauna, um, I'd usually have a do not disturb sign up because I was in so much pain I couldn't focus. You can't, you can't pay for something that amazing. Um, it, yeah, it definitely changed my life. So yeah, so that's, 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 a real, that's a real world benefit. There are 10 million people in the country diagnosed with fibromyalgia um, and Lyrica currently is the only real um, option. Um, FDA clearance we're about to submit. Um, we also have the thousand person one arm study going on in parallel, uh, which is to prove out two year uh, efficacy rates. Um, we've also got a neuropathic pivotal going on at Mount Sinai. That should be uh, due by the end of the year. Um, and then the next anxiety is an anxiety pivotal. Um, I'm gonna fast forward through a couple of these. Um, we're dealing with some very big markets here. Fibromyalgia first, PTSD, neuropathic pain, um, and then overall chronic pain. Um, our clinical timeline again, so fibromyalgia first, neuropathic pain second, anxiety third. We've just got a DOD grant for PTSD and a second DOD grant for uh, sleep and pain. Um, and uh, adolescent depression will be the next one we start after that. So yeah, FDA breakthrough designation. Um, was one of the things we haven't covered. And then just on the finance side, we're raising a bridge round for 10 million of which we've already closed on 5.5 million from existing investors. It's a safe note uh, with a 90 million cap and a 15% discount. And that is to get us through to a series B this time next year with the aim of having three FTA indications at that point um, and have nailed down our reimbursement pathway um, and have proof that people will pay out of pocket while we're waiting for reimbursement. Um, really great team that I'm uh, really, really grateful to be working with. Um, we're a team of 24 at the moment. Uh, we are primarily based in Colorado. Um, and with that 24 people, we have now five large studies going on. So we're a small team with very big ambitions. Um, Really, uh, I've talked a bit about the round already um, and the milestones, but really just wanted to say, so with me, the device fixed my underlying pain problem completely in three months. Most people in most conditions were a tool in a toolkit. Um, with fibromyalgia, we're getting somewhere around 50% improvements in quality of life, which is massive. Um, if we can combine with the other therapies that are emerging, we can really help solve a large number of these problems. We're also expecting to collaborate very well with some of the major devices like spinal cord stimulators that are doing peripheral um, pain reduction because we're doing central and two combined together. And we're also looking for uh, drug device combinations where we can help uh, as well as a tool and toolkit. So um, I'm around, uh, spot me, I'd love to do demos on people. Uh, we have a device, um, any armchair, anybody can take a nap for 10, 15 minutes. So uh, please catch me through the rest of the conference. Um, thank you very much.